Welcome, my fellow Virgos. Um, this is going to be your October 2024 reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, you could certainly have planets in the sign of uh, Virgo. Uh, many of you are intuitively guided, and I thank you for paying attention to your intuition. And what I really mean by that is sometimes you'll see a reading, and you'll be like, oh, should I? You know, sometimes the time can turn you off. But for Virgo, you know, I feel like patience is our virtue. Um, but anyways, like something will call you back to it. You know, I read through my spirit guide. So it's just your spirit guides trying to put a message in front of you. Um, you may certainly be in love with a Virgo romantically, platonically, pl platonically, Um if that's the case, also remember that you'll receive messages here, too. Um, this is definitely a good time to ask your spirit guides to send you signs of confirmation, you know, to let you know if a reading is for you. It can be like, you know, goosebumps. Um, you know, I feel like you know what you know what you know. You'll know if it's for you or not, but definitely feel free to, like, bring in your guides. Um, I'm bringing them in. Um, so anyways, real quick, I want to talk about um, the Virgo Pisces eclipse that just happened not too long ago. Um, and the only reason I really want to talk about it is because it is the Virgo Pisces clip, um, eclipse. And the last one was back in, um, I think it was November 2015, that ran to May 2017. You know, you may want to look back. You know, it's interesting. I was telling my daughter that uh, we were talking about it yesterday. And in 2015 was a year that she moved into this new home. It's also the year that my dad needed to move in. Uh, There's a lot of things that happened. Um, it was definitely a changing point in my life. So that's the, that's the only thing. The reason why I'm bringing this up is... You may just want to see how much you have grown since then. Um, the next Virgo Pisces eclipse will be in February 2027. So, um, so how have you grown? Um, this can really stir up matters relating to health, your well-being, um, your spirituality. This is about focusing on you know, the finer details and getting organized, which is a Virgo trait. Um, this is going to be a highly creative time also. It's going to bring a lot of inspiration, even visions. So just be open to that. And I know just through, through the comment section and personal readings that I've done that a lot of you are already like receiving these visions. Um and you may not know why. Well, that may be why. Um, this is also a time to really draw out your superpower. And, you know, when I think of Pisces, I think of Virgo. I think of intuition. You know, I often call um, the Queen of Pentacles my psychic detective. And that's because she can, she can read between the lines. She can read energy. So, you know, I feel that both for Virgo and uh and Pisces, um, and then let go of what you know, you know, you no longer wish to hold on to. You know, this is about a new cycle beginning. This is a new cycle beginning. I just want to go with the flow in this cycle as much as I can, trust my intuition as much as I can, and um, yeah, and it's also interesting because. For October, I decided to do opposite months again. And what I mean by that is normally I'll just go in order. I'll start at the birthday month and then go the following month and so on and so forth. But September, I was guided to do opposites. So our opposite is Pisces. Uh, so how interesting that we just had the, um, the Virgo Pisces eclipse, right? And we're doing opposites. I've already done Pisces. You are really the last reading for the October readings. Um, I did start them early because I am taking a break in October. Um, 
That's why I've been talking about personal readings also. Like, you know, this is a time if you if you're thinking about a reading, don't think too long. And I'm not pressuring you. I don't want you to get a reading unless you want a reading. Um, but you don't want to wait too long because again, I am gonna go on a break in October. Um probably the second half of October. Just to rejuvenate. All right, so I'm also using the same decks that I use for Pisces. I'm using for you also, and I am looking for synchronicities. So let's go ahead and just open up this reading. So we're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. We are going to use, this is such a slippery deck, the Tredivia, Tredivia Tarot to clarify or go deeper. For the main spread, we are using the Universal Tarot. And instead of doing um, what we did last month, where we used the Major Arcanas for like bullet points in the reading, uh, I am using the Romance Angels this time. And let me tell you why. Uh, first of all, I started working with a company who offered me some Tarot cards. I saw this deck ordered it right away because I used to own this deck um, and you know many of you know my story when I moved in with Sam um, I took flight and I could only take two suitcases with me so I left a lot behind and um, my daughter asked if I would leave these behind and it was hard because I love this deck but I did I she's my daughter so I left it for her um, but so this is the first deck I saw, and I'm like, I am bringing these back, back to the table. So here they are. And another reason why I decided to use them this month is because, you know, we're doing a life reading. Um, we're looking at all areas of your life, but love, it always comes up in everyone's reading. So I thought, well, let's just, let's just put it right on the table. So we're only going to take a few, you know two to three, three to four, I mean, really, whatever comes out, but we're not going to go crazy with them. Um, so let's go ahead and start with Mother Mary. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you something. Oh, um, so my birthday is September 13th. I want to thank everyone for the birthday wishes, by the way. And those, um, we haven't quite moved into Libra yet, so I want to say happy birthday to those that maybe, um, you know, haven't reached out, so I wasn't able to say that. Happy birthday to you. By the way, we're moving into the corn moon for Libra's energy. And, you know, we're in the harvest moon right now. And think about that, you know. I often say, you know, the seeds that we plant today are is what's going to be our harvest. You know, I want to say in the fall, but we're literally in the fall, in the northern um, hemisphere anyway. We're in the fall. So, um, but still, think about the seeds that you're planting today. Because that's what, truly what your future is going to look like. Um, but then you kind of want to let go, you know, like put those intentions out there. But then trust the universe to answer them um, probably in a better way that we can even expect. All right. So we only got one. Um, and we may pull another one at the end of the reading. We'll see. You know, I play it by ear. You know, a lot of people ask me, like, what's, you know, like, I, like I want to do a training video. And I thought, like, how do I train when... I really just, like, I just go with the flow. But anyways, I try to teach while I'm doing the tarot readings anyways. Self-respect. I honor and love myself through my healthful actions. Self-respect. Okay. Put that over there. Let's go ahead and bring the lid down. There we go. Um, we're going to give the Romance Angels a couple shuffles. Everything is always pre-shuffled before you get here. This is just to 
I don't know. Makes me feel like I'm picking up on your energy even more. In my mind's eye, you're all in the room with me anyway. All right. Romans, angels. Let's begin. I'll let you know if um, there's any synchronicities between your reading and Pisces reading. Well, that was their very first card. So, interesting. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon. You know, that talks about planting those seeds, right? Plant those seeds out of optimistic energy. We have children. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Interesting. And then we have love yourself first. Your self-respect. Hello, Mother Mary. Makes you more romantically attractive. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Interesting because I feel like I need to take one more, but I feel like this children, um, I feel like it's really referring more to like single moms, single dads out there. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Interesting. We have parents. We have children. We have very soon. Plant those seeds so that they come to you. Um, but anyways, children, I feel like it could certainly talk about like single parents. And, you know, we come as a package deal. You don't just get me. You know, if you, you can't just love me, you have to love my children. Doesn't mean I want someone to take over. Um, and then healing or forgiving your parents. You know, I understand some of that because sometimes, you know, the way we grow up, the way we were influenced can, you know, like, like an example is, you know, my father, though, I was a daddy's girl. Um, he was abusive to my mother. I mean, we, we saw it. Um, and it was a trait that I just did not like about him. And, um, interesting that the first person, well, my first marriage, I've only been married one time though, um, was, was with someone who was a lot like my dad. And I don't mean the good areas. I mean, the not so good areas. So that may be why that's also there. All right. Let's bring in the Universal Tarot. Give it a cut. And let's begin. Well, hello, Hangman, in the awakened state. Beautiful. You know, the hangman in reverse, it can be a pause in the action for sure. Um, but this person who's hanging here is really seeking wisdom, like spiritual wisdom. But for my my next earthly steps, let's not forget also we're entering this. We've already entered this new cycle. You know, very soon, again, another reason, clearly decide what you want. So that it comes to you now. So this hangman seeking the seeking, you know, spiritual wisdom for their earthly on this earthly plane, it's like, okay, he's received it. So someone is having an awakening. Someone knows now what direction they want to go. Is it you? I don't know yet. Six of Cups. Hmm. Someone that I used to know. Six of Cups. Interesting with the hangman in the awakened state. 
next to the Six of Cups. Six of Cups really speaks about um, the treasured memories. It can it can talk about you know someone that I knew back in the day. Interesting that it's kind of falling under children from the romance angels. So this could be you know someone that I knew as a child. Um, we grew up together. Some of you may have been like reminiscing. Interesting because it's like the hangman. Actually, let me move these over a little bit. It's like the hangman. Um, first of all, under very soon. And then the hangman now when it, when it's reversed, which it is, then it means movement. So where there hasn't been movement, it's now time for movement. But I feel someone's very, feeling very confident in this energy also. And then we move into Six of Cups. So this could be like someone just starts thinking about you. Or you start thinking about or you're thinking about each other. doesn't have to mean like you're in a romantic relationship with this person. Though it does, you know, I'm looking at like this little boy handing over these, these flowers to this little girl. I don't know why it just made me think of like the past. I did a past life relationship reading and um, it just reminding me of that for some reason. All right, we have the Eight of Wands. Want to think about or bring about? Want to think about or bring about? This is also fast-moving energy. Eight is also about a new beginning. And again, I'm not going to try to sound like a broken record, but we are in this new cycle. And this cycle really lasts until 2027. So think about that also. <laughs> no pressure. You know, I mean, this all feels very positive to me right now. And because your very first card is asking you, you know, to think about the seeds that you're planting, so to speak. It's also interesting how it says, so it comes to you now. Like now, you know, not not like the future, but now. And then the hangman being very clear, right? Like now I have the wisdom to go ahead and take those steps forward. A couple cards flip over. We have, well, hello, star. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. This is about manifesting them. I don't love that it's next to the eight of wands. I feel like, you know, you want to think about that. Because, again, in the eight of wands, at least the way I read it, it is what I think about, I bring about. It's kind of like the law of attraction. So this is about bringing some type of wish into your life. You know, I feel like in the star's energy, I'm really working hand in hand with divine. Card of Aquarius. And then look at this, the nine of cups that is marrying the awakened hangman. Kind of beautiful. Because the Nine of Cups is about inner harmony. And, um, you know, maybe it's been a while since you felt this inner harmony. This is also about a fulfillment of a wish also. And it just so happens to come right next to the wish card. It's a good energy, Virgo. You know, if nothing else, I feel like it's representing time getting easier.
you know, we had all those planets in retrograde back in August. And it's just reminding me of that because we have an eight right in the middle right now. So the nine of cups, inner harmony. I feel like that's saying that you found this self-respect. Because this is you, you know, I want to say kind of love and life again. Doesn't mean all things are perfect because there's still something I feel like you want to bring towards you. You know, this nine um, can also talk about singular energy. So if I'm single, first of all, I feel like I'm okay. You know, like I'm not in any desperate need um, because I feel like I'm enjoying my life. Again, doesn't mean all things are perfect, but but I found this inner harmony, and I feel like that's the secret to life. Like, finding this inner harmony, and then letting go of control, because, again, there's some wishes coming your direction. And it feels like they are well-earned. You know what I mean? Because I feel like this awakening means that you're in touch with your spirituality. That you trust your spirit guides. That you know that these signs are being sent to you for a reason. You know, you don't have to follow them. You know, it's like sometimes we get caught in these bad relationships, but there were red flags. And I know that. I, I myself have ignored red flags. And then, you know... And then years later, I went like, why did I ignore that red flag? I've seen it. Um, but anyways, that was then. That was then. This is now. All right, let's keep going. We have the King of Swords can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming under the awakened hangman. You can certainly talk about communication, but I feel like if this is someone I'm communicating with, it's on a higher level. We have the devil, card of Capricorn. This really speaks about temptations. And, you know, this image, to me, this is the, these are the lovers right here. And if you just look at the image here, it's like dark energy that's influencing these lovers. Maybe they feel tied together. Maybe they don't want to be together. But there's some type of influence over them. Sometimes it can feel like I'm trapped. Um, but it does speak about temptation. Coming under that six of cups. And for some of you, it could just literally mean a Capricorn. You know, and for some of you, I feel like this King of Swords, who, you know, the King of Swords really speaks about communication, integrity, truth. You know, that's what this King Sword stands for. Doesn't mean that's the way I've always lived. And this could certainly represent that, like the difference of how I was then and how I am now. We have the Page of Pentacles. It 
To me, the Page of Pentacles talks about learning. Learning as I'm going. You know, it can speak about, for some of you, someone you knew back in school. It can certainly be the younger you. Um, and it also may be speaking about, you know, dreams that maybe were on the back burner in your life. Now bringing them to the front. We have the two of pentacles. And then we have the queen of wands. Queen of Wands is marrying this King of Swords. You know, what I'm feeling at this moment, for some of you, this can talk about someone you already know. And, you know, I feel like if that's the case, then... And I feel like, I feel like there has been time. Like, definitely time. Um, in between then and now. Um, because I feel like this, I do feel like this king has evolved in his life. And, you know, certainly could have been influenced by, let's just say, lower vibrational people. You know, lower vibrational energy. You know, or like, you know, like I like to drink a lot back then. And it may have landed me into some trouble. So at the same time, I feel like this king has learned from that. Because really, you know, I do feel like it's you. In this awakened state. But I also feel this king is in the awakened state. And under the star. Which is about a dream. A wish. Something coming true. And I know it's going to happen. Because the nine of cups comes out next. And it talks about a fulfillment of a wish. And I love that it is mirroring the awakened hangman. But underneath that star. There is the two of pentacles. Two pentacles, they call it the juggler's card, but I think it's more about using your logical mind. You know, I feel like anything that comes towards you or into your life, you still have the right to say yes or no, but you want clarity on that, right? I don't want to say no to something that I really want um, just because of what was. Let's give, maybe give this person a chance and listen. You know what I mean? If this is something I'm interested in. If I'm not, don't. You know what I mean? If you're not interested, then let it be. Um, and, the, and then the Nine of Cups with the Queen of Wands under that. I feel like, yes, it is about, you know, inner fulfillment, even fulfillment of a wish. Um, but I also feel the the Queen underneath it, it's like action time. So maybe I've been single. And maybe I'm about to start moving out of that energy. Whoa. All right. Hmm. The Knight of Swords under the King of Swords. And by the way, I, I kind of want you to forget the sign. Because if this is talking about someone who's coming into your life, it doesn't have to be an air sign. It's just represented by air, which to me talks about communication. Again, integrity, truth. Um, and then the Knight of Swords underneath this king feels like, well, here comes this communication. And then we have the Ten of Wands under the devil. Um, or temptation. Some decks call it temptation. Mm. 
first of all, if this is someone from your past, which it kind of feels that way, this is an energy where I feel like there would be an apology. Again, I feel like this is someone who has realized their ways. And I, I just don't feel like they are the same people that they once were. And I'm not even saying they were horrible people. Because I still feel like when you think about them, you know, it puts a smile on your face. But yet, yeah, then we have this Ten of Wands. So it can speak about, you know, where you felt like the responsibility was all on your shoulders. Yet, I also want to say that I feel that there could be someone entering into your life and you may not have reached this inner harmony yet. You know, you may still be under like the influence of a lot of responsibility type of energy. Um, because I feel like if this is talking about a soulmate, otherwise I don't know why the hangman be in the would be in the awakened state and literally showing that the king is in that state. Um I forgot what I was even gonna say. And I feel like this page of pentacles is you. But I also feel like it's this king. Because I, I do feel like this is someone who has learned from their um, not so great experiences. Now, some of the experiences they've gone through, I feel like it's because of their own energy. does feel like communications coming in now we have the four of pentacles under the page of pentacles and under the eight of wands we have the seven of wands Interesting. We have the Seven of Pentacles, 77. Some of you could have been born in 77. And then with that comes the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. You know, and when I do a reading like this on YouTube, I really feel you're all people, unless we feel it differently. Like, I do feel you are the Queen of Wands. I don't feel you are the King of Swords, though. I don't feel you're the knight. I feel like this is communication that's coming in towards you. I do feel like you're this page, but it feels like you're younger, the younger you. And I feel like part of this is saying there could have been, because we're entering this new chapter, there could have been things that you've put off. Um, and listen, maybe you had to, right? You're raising your family, whatever it may be. But now I feel like it's time. You know, if this is something that is really piquing your interest, then I feel like this is like the perfect timing. This is great energy also from working from home. Some of you I know have had these spiritual awakenings. Like, I already know that about you. Um, and then the queen, you know, so from the page to the queen, just like from the knight to the king, Um, you know, the Seven of Pentacles to me is like your tree of life. And when I see the Seven of Pentacles, the first message they gives you is patience, right? Patience. So I refer to like an apple tree. You know, I don't want to pick an apple before it's ripe. And but I also don't want to, you know, overthink it and not pick it when it's ripe. And why I'm saying that is it it always makes me feel like one of these seeds, if not more than one of these seeds, are coming to fruition. You know, it's like 
dreams that you had now are going to be presented to you. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when it comes for you? So, interesting. You know, first of all, I feel like you have no interest of going back. And, you know, I'm saying back. And what's mainly making me feel that is the Six of Cups. But children right above that. You know, I almost feel like like you knew each other um, when you were younger. And the one story I'm picking up is with this king and someone who, you know, let's just say back in the day, again, was, you know, tempted to more lower vibrational energy. And it just didn't suit you. You know what I mean? Like to a point, but then, and again, whether it be a friend or an old lover, you know, I feel like you, you are the one who felt like there needed to be a change of energy. And therefore you may have ended or even stop talking to someone. You know, got on with your life. So, again, I feel like if this king is someone who's making a repeat appearance, I feel like this is someone who understands, like, you know, not just their own energy, but, you know, the pain or sorrow that I caused. So I, and I don't feel this very often, but I feel there could be like an apology. It still puts the ball in your court down. Like you can say no. Hmm. All right. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Well, hello, soulmates. Look at that. Soulmates. Queen of Swords underneath that. Nine of Wands underneath that. That's deep reflection over one's life. Really learning who I am in this energy. And we have the Queen of Swords that we also have the King of Swords. And then we have the Two of Cups. Interesting. So we know we got soulmates. We know that you, yourself, are feeling lighter, let's just say. Even believing, you know, like believe in miracles. But know that, you know, like your participation is just as important as divines, right? Like I'm putting the, the intentions out there. I'm putting, I'm even taking action where action is required. And I feel like that's just talking about you and your life. And I also love this for like spiritually based businesses. I feel like this is the perfect energy for that. Because again, in the nine of cups, I don't feel like it's one wish being fulfilled. I feel like it's two. We know one is love. We already have soulmates. All right, let's bring in the Tredivia Tarot. Let's go over this. Let's go deeper. You know, another thing I want to say with the hangman in the awakened state, I want you to think about that. Because that means that someone is ready to take movement. Someone is spiritually inclined. And oh, sorry, my phone was ringing. Um, someone was definitely spiritually inclined. And I forgot where I was going with that. So let's just go ahead and cut the deck. Actually, I want to turn the ringer down on my phone. Okay. 
start at the beginning, but we're going to read it as a whole. You know, everything applies in the reading. This is your story. So I'm looking at the hangman in the awakened state. The six of cups. Happy, treasured memories of someone or a time. A period of time. Eight of wands, what I think about it, bring about. Also fast moving energy. It's moving right into the star. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. It moves right into the nine of cups. Inner harmony. And maybe one of those, it means one of those wishes has come true. But there's still more on the horizon. We have, well, hello, Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. The Ace of Pentacles over the awakened hangman. You know, the Ace of Pentacles means something is coming into your physical world. It's tangible. It's touchable. It may even be kissable. And interesting that it's coming under very soon. You know, because it literally is showing you how quick you can manifest something. Well, here comes one of those wishes. So let's follow it. You know, this Ace of Pentacles feels like it needed someone to be in this awakened state for it to come in. You know, it's just like those red flags that a lot of times we ignore. Well, this is a good flag. This is something, again, it is literally coming into your physical world. Um, but it's you manifesting it. We have the two of pentacles. Interesting, because we have the two of pentacles under the star, and now the two of pentacles over that six of cups. Hmm. Again, it puts the ball on your court. But it definitely feels like someone is presenting themselves to you. We have the Seven of Wands over the Eight of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Excuse me, can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I really feel like this is talking about love. Um, because this is the queen I'd want to see. This is someone who really does appreciate love. Um, definitely someone who takes, you know, let's say past hurt and takes it like in the inner child. So it takes a while for that to heal. But this makes me feel like someone is now open, like their heart is open. You know, and I feel like for a, just a few people out there, you may have some, you may have some people disagreeing with you as it relates to, let's say, it's about this king coming back. You may have some people be like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to go back. Um, and, you know, you might be listening to them. But as I say that, I feel like you're ready. You're ready. But of course, you want to make sure that you're giving yourself to someone who deserves it at the same time. So it's interesting this Queen of Cups has the Seven of Wands next to it, but it's also mirroring that. Seven of Wands can talk about standing your ground. Talk about putting out other people's fires. Put one out, another one begins. We have justice. 
Mm. Carly, bro. It is about cutting ties. Some of you may have been through some karmic lessons. And, you know, don't frown upon that because if there were lessons like karmic lessons to learn, and you do, then you learn them for eternity. I also feel like, you know, sometimes it's like it's good for the next generation and the generation after that also. You know, definitely feels interesting because it's coming next to healing film um, underneath healing family issues. It's funny because I feel like it almost feels like if anybody gets in my way, and I don't mean this in a <laughs> ignorant way, but I, but I get this feeling like, or I'm telling myself, you know, I know what it is I want. And if anybody like gets in my way, tries to talk me out of it, well, chances are I'm going to cut them out or not listen to what they have to say. But listen, I feel like because you're following your gut, you're following your instinct here. You know, some of you could have certainly gone through a divorce and you, you may have been single for a little while. But I feel like if that's the case, you've done a lot with your life at the same time. You know, even I'm raising, you know, the family, and especially if I'm doing it on my own, I'm still working, right? I'm still doing the things that, that need to be done. But this feels like, like, I don't know, it almost feels like an increase, like within your financial status. But we also know with this Ace of Pentacles with the soulmates right there. This could also talk about soulmate love. That's about to enter. You know, and then I feel also, it's interesting, I'm getting a lot of different things. <clears throat> where some of you could still be in a relationship, but there doesn't feel like there, there would be any love. You know, it would be an empty relationship. Um, and maybe I just haven't cut ties because I just haven't gotten around to it. But lo and behold, here comes someone new. Now what am I going to do? So I'm feeling a little bit of all of that. We have the Nine of Swords over this King of Swords. Mm. It's a lot of worry. But it is unnecessary worry. Then we have the Death card. Card of Scorpio. But this is closing doors. This is literally ending chapters. So that a new chapter can begin to be written. And again, you're writing that chapter. It's you. It's your seeds. It's your, you know, it, it's your energy. It's what you're putting out into the universe. And the universe is going to match that. You know, I feel like this King of Swords. And again, I want you to kind of forget that this is an air sign. Now, it can be an air for some of you. But really, I kind of forget the signs once I do a reading. Um, I feel like this king, I feel like he wants you in his life. But I do feel like there was this time where he just wasn't who you needed him to be. And again, you could have been young, you know, young and dumb. 
Um, I didn't know better, right? But then once I know better, I do better. But I feel like this king is saying, if if I have the opportunity to speak with you, what I would say is, I understand what I have done. I understand why you need it. Because I feel like it, chances are you called this off. So it's like, I understand all that. I understand my part in it. But I would like you to listen. You know, let's not forget the death card. It does speak about the closing of a door, right? A closing of a chapter. But a new chapter always begins. A new door will always open. And do we have any say-so of what door opens next? Well, if you think about what this reading is saying, again, the hangman was seeking wisdom for this earthly plane, and the hangman received that wisdom. And I feel like, and if I'm in this awakened state, then I really do understand that it is the energy I put out there that the universe must match. So as I raise my own vibration, then simply by the law of attraction, what vibrates back to me must also be of a higher vibration. <clears throat> so I'm saying all that because we do have, you know, we do have a say so, so to speak. We can influence, you know, our present and future. All right, but let's follow this. So it definitely feels like someone who's a little leery. Like, I definitely feel like someone who knows that they want to be with you. Like, I don't feel like there's any doubt in that. I feel like where they're worried is, will you even listen? But I feel you will. The world, well, literally, the death card says, time to close one chapter so the new chapter can open. Well, here it is. And the world is a great energy for opening up a new chapter because this is really where I feel you're at your most spiritual. This is where you've really learned how to work with divine to help you create the type of life that you really do want to see. Close the chapter. Boom. A new chapter opens. We have the Five of Cups, interesting. And then we have the Hierophant, Card of Taurus. Um, by the way, we have quite a few major arcanas on the table. Taurus and Libra right there. Aquarius, Scorpio. Um... Definitely you, but I feel you in, I feel you in both the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands energy. I feel both of those are you. I feel like what this is saying is, you know, for some of you, you've been, let's say, even if you're in a relationship, it still feels like you're single. And now this feels like movement out of that. You know, once you find this inner harmony. It's really hard to lose it. You know what I mean? Because you're having real realizations about life and about the way energy works and all that. And you're using it to your benefit. You know, the five of cups coming out next to the world, after the world. So literally, it is saying that there is someone that you're missing. 
and maybe someone that's missing you. Well, here's the soulmates. And, you know, the five of pentacles, it is the five. I mean, you can't really see much on this image, but it is a five. So five always speaks of change. And I know you all heard me say this a million times, but when this change happens, what does this person find? Two cups, soulmate. And then you move into the Hierophant's energy. Well, that's about your beliefs, hope, faith, your morals. You know, I feel like it's important for you that anyone who comes into your life, whether it be friend, lover, you know, whoever it may be, that they come to you, they come in your life, you know, I don't, I don't want to say matching your energy, but very similar. So, you know, similar morals. Um, and I don't really read the Hierophant as like religious. It's more spiritual to me. A lot of times you'll see in the Hierophant's energy, there's two keys, not one, but two. And I often feel that's the keys to the kingdom. And I feel like that's what the world's also signifying. Like this feels like it's going to feel like your kingdom. But there's two keys. And it's mirroring this, this um, king again. With this king having the nine of swords over it. Feels like two people who probably have started thinking about each other, you know, probably are missing each other. Um, because I feel, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't really like doing, I don't know why, but <laughs> like people coming back. It's not that I don't like doing it. I think some of you don't like that. Um, but literally, that is my life story. You know what I mean? Many of you know my story as it relates to Sam and I. And um, he was someone I was with really as a child. So I get what this is saying. I get what this is saying. All right, let's keep going. funny because the ace of pentacles comes in and immediately it puts you in a question mode do i or don't i all right we have the high priestess this is your intuition and that's what you should listen to especially now with this this New chapter opening up through the um, Virgo Pisces eclipse, super moon, the harvest moon. It's really asking us from this point on to really trust in our intuition. We have, hello, nine of cups over the ten of wands. And then we have the tower. Interesting. Hmm. It's interesting. We have two nines of cups. And it could talk about two people who are now finding themselves single. Or you could have been single for a while. But I also want to say with justice over the one nine of cups. It could talk about also those who are in a relationship currently, but there's no love left, right? It's like, why am I hanging on? And maybe you're not. 
maybe you decide not to. Um, because I feel like also what this is saying is this king is also single. So I don't feel like this is anyone coming to you who is in a relationship. Um, even if it's a bad relationship. I feel like this is saying this is someone who is now, you know, claiming the single status. I definitely feel like this tower is the energy of what was. You know, and something else I'm going to say that that not everybody likes. Um, but, you know, I think about it a lot, too, because, you know, the the periods of time when I was single is when I was my most creative. It's when I decided to do Tarot. You know what I mean? It's like when I started to really focus on what interests me and what I wanted to bring to the world. So I don't regret any time alone, um, especially as a Virgo, because, you know, us Virgos, we can handle being alone. And again, sometimes that's when we're our most creative. So though there was a tower, I don't feel like this tower has any power left to it. I think it's just rec recognizing what was. We have the King of Wands. Queen of Wands right there. So let's again... Of course, it can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But let's think about this person's energy. This is someone who puts action behind their words. So I don't just say I love you. I show you that I love you. I don't just I don't just say that I've changed. I show you that I've changed. Knight of Swords again. And then, hello, magician, the manifester. Interesting. So we have the magician mirroring the high priestess. The first two mentors for the fool. And I say the fool because in the world, I feel like we are taking on the full status. That means that we're letting the past be the past. Or another way of saying that, if this is someone coming back that I am interested in, then I am going to let the past be the past. You know, we're going to take it from this moment moving forward. Interesting also because I feel that there could be both of you thinking of reaching out to each other. You know, kind of like, like I just start thinking of this person and it's probably because this person is thinking of you. Um, I can't help but see the change. I feel like there's a lot of change within this king. You know, and I'm saying king, it can be a queen. I just feel like there's a lot of change. So I feel like, you know, and it's very subtle that I say just take someone back, especially if they hurt you. But I don't see like the three of swords. I, I feel like, I feel like this is something that we can rebound from you know this may just be your special person and you know you could have been together at a younger period but then something broke you up and again it's like don't be don't be sorry for that even though that had to be difficult i know that but the reason I'm saying don't be sorry is because I feel like you are doing some great things with your life that maybe 
you wouldn't have done otherwise. And I do feel like it's taken you some time to really trust within yourself and to bring what it is you want to bring to, to the rest of us. And I feel like the rest of us will be ready for whatever it is you're bringing. I feel like the energy has just gone up and up. I just would not be surprised if two people are thinking about each other. If two people, unbeknownst to each other, are thinking of reaching out in some way, some type of communication. I feel like the king does it first. Um, because I feel like the king has a lot to say. And, you know, the two pentacles up there, it's really going to be up to you whether you want to listen to it or not. But I do feel like this king um, is awakened, you know, to the past, to the things that maybe he hasn't done right, or at least that's the way he's seeing it now. I feel like this person has found their faith and also found their way. And this is outside of you, though I kind of feel like you probably lived in this person's heart for quite a bit. Well, probably since you met. But that doesn't guarantee us anything. You know, and maybe you were meant to meet at that period of time and maybe you're meant to break up. Because again, maybe you wouldn't have uh, have taken the 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 path that you chose, and I'm not saying it right away. Like it may have taken you time. I definitely feel like you were with other people, you know, maybe even married in between, maybe have a family. Again, some of you you may be in a single status, but you may still have children. And it may be the same for them. But I don't feel like everyone is out of a relationship. Now, I do feel like this king is. I feel like there's no way this king would be connected to someone else and then come in and, you know, try to talk you into falling in love with them again. Like, I just feel like they know it's not that wouldn't work. But you yourself... And not everyone, but some of you may still be connected again to someone that um, I just feel like there's no love, love lost. It's just literally, I haven't taken the action of ending what needs to be ended. If I so choose, you know, I never want to try to talk you into anything, um, but I have to show you what's on the table. Okay, um, I, I get this energy, so I don't really know. I think what I'm going to look, I'm going to look at the Ace of Pentacles, keeping this King in mind, and also the Six of Cups in mind, because that's really what's coming around, this Ace of Pentacles, and also very soon from the Romance Angels. Well, there's our full. So, you know, I always find it interesting when I talk about a card that's not on the table and then it shows up. So this full with this ace of, ace of pentacles is about a new beginning. The full is someone who is really learning how to take a leap of faith. This is someone who does put the past behind them but has extracted the wisdom. And that's what I carry with me. This is a new beginning. Six of Wands. That's the energy of being victorious. And then the Page of Pentacles. So again, I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles 
and the with the awakened hangman, the king, and very soon. So the full. It's interesting because the Page of Pentacles is now over the world, with the Page of Pentacles under the world. So first of all, I feel like it's the things that you've learned in your life. But also, I feel like this is, again, representing a younger period in your life and a, a, a new opportunity with someone um, to try again. But again, I feel it's very clear that the past... And that may be why a conversation needs to be had, right? Like someone coming in and I do feel like an apology. You know, like I like I feel like they understand the things that they have done. Um, and it's interesting because I feel like you've probably been on their mind more than you've been than they've been on your mind. But lately, some of you may have just like all of a sudden start thinking about someone, but I feel like it's because they're thinking about you. I mean, it literally says that this energy can be victorious. And I feel like, you know, one of the ways I can move beyond the past is look at it as in, like, what have I done with my life? You know, what's the things that I have learned? And it's using all that information to really make a decision. I feel like this person brings out your inner child. And I feel like that's a good thing. Okay. What else do I want to look at? Let's pick these up. Let's just look right at the world. Queen of Wands again. So, Queen of Action. You know, Queen of Wands is someone who moves according to her desires and passions. She's not a fear-based energy. And I also feel like this is saying that this new chapter that's opening up, and it's opening up, um, it's about you. You know, it's not just about love. It's also about you like doing the things that inspire you. The willingness to put action behind your dreams. All right, I don't know if anything else wants to come out. The sun. Beautiful. You know, the sun, I feel like, is here for a couple different reasons. First of all, uh, we're looking at the world. This tells us that this is going to be a good time in our lives. The sun, to me, is very playful type energy. And I feel like that's exactly the energy it's calling for you. Like, to allow yourself to be in that playful state. The sun's also the illuminator. So, you know, in a way, it helps eliminate any fear because anything that's done in the dark, when the sun is out, it will come to the light. So let's just say this person comes in and, you know, they want to have a discussion. I feel like very quickly and very easily, you'll be able to distinguish truth from false. I feel like it is truth that's being spoken. The sun is like a brand new day.
And then we have the Knight of Wands over the Five of Cups. Interesting. So, Knight of Wands is energy, you know, where I move according to my passion. So, Knight of Wands, you know, a knight to me means energy that's coming in. So, Knight of Wands would be passionate, desirable. And it is coming over that Five of Cups. So, I cannot help but think that there are soulmates coming together. Um, now, could this be a past life? Well, it could be if both are aware of that. You know what I mean? Because I feel like both are aware of love. And I also feel like this king has a lot of, you know, in a way, explaining to do. Now, I don't feel like this king was like a serial cheater, that type of energy. I feel like it was more of just like the friends that I hung out with, you know what I mean? Like, you know, pulling me out to the bar and the things that I did that really didn't support a relationship, let's say. But in a way, I feel like, you know, I was kind of young and dumb at the same time. So anyways, I feel like I'm coming in and I really want to talk to you about this. You know, I feel like ultimately what they want is a new beginning with you. Um, but I do see you questioning it at the same time. So I don't feel like it's something you immediately jump into. But I'm hoping that you're at least open to listening. I feel like the listening will reveal a lot to you. Like, I feel like you will know, is this person speaking the truth or are we just going to end up breaking up again? I don't feel like this is a type of relationship where you're on and off and on and off and on and off. I just don't feel that. I feel like there's been distance, time. I feel like you have done some great things with your life. I feel like there's new inspiration coming your way. Um, that you can really use to, let's just say, increase your finances, your creativity. All of that is being, like, highlighted. But so is love. So is love. And I do like the Hierophant mirroring the King of Swords. Because, again, I feel like it means that this would be two people who have a similar like similar morals, similar beliefs in life. Doesn't mean everything is exactly the same. That would be kind of boring. This is about communication and taking it from there. But just the way everything is coming out, and then we have the soulmates here. Let's put the soulmates right in the middle of the table. And let's just take a few cards on the soulmate itself. Hello, Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Oh, wow. The Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. <laughs> okay. First of all, let's talk about the Six of Swords that's, that is um, above the Two of Cups. Six of Swords, you know, that's the realization within my life of the things that have been toxic to me. It's not only the realization, but it's the moving away from it. Um, and to me, this is signifying that that both of these people in the Two of Cups energy um, probably had their own issues, you know, like their own things in life they had to deal with. Um, but again, it is the energy of putting the past in the past. I kind of love that you have the Nine of Pentacles going into the Ten of Pentacles. Again, Virgo, I feel like there has been no wasted time in your life you know you may think that but then i have a feeling if you really think hard like hmm during that period i got a lot of epiphanies i i took chances on this and you know i 
learn more and more about my spirituality and some to the point where, you know, you own your own business now. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is really standing strong with on your own two feet. Um, it, you know, it's the energy of successful self-employment, but then it moves into the Ten of Pentacles. Well, you're not alone in the Ten of Pentacles. And as an earth sign, I would always rather see the Ten of Pentacles because both of them mean love. But this really, to me, the Ten of Pentacles represents loyalty. It represents a house that can take root. And to me, those roots mean it can live, you know, beyond our years. You know, it could be a relationship that, and I know I've said this a few times, but I feel it in this reading where, like, even my children and my great-grandchildren talk about our story. Because it really is a beautiful love story, you know, of what was, of two people missing each other. I have a feeling one more than the other. Um, but I feel like, you know, it's because I was busy. But yet, it's like this person probably has lived in your heart. Yet, you did go on and live your life. You know, some of you, you married. Um, but this is about the coming back together. You know, and I say coming back together, but it's about a new beginning with that. And I just, you know, I love the energy that's surrounding it the world, the next chapter, the Nine of Pentacles, feeling pretty good on my own. I can take care of myself financially. And then the Ten of Pentacles, wow, that's mixing of the households. You know, if I have children, they have children, it's all of us. I also love this energy for collaborating together. You know, I see that a lot where I, well, not a lot, but I do see that where I feel like there's certain couples that could really collaborate together and do something like create a business together. I mean, I don't know. Again, I'm not trying to talk you into anything, but boy, do I feel like this person has evolved. I feel you have evolved. This feels like really divine timing. Um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is what's what's ushering it all in. But again, mirrored by that Nine of Cups. So, you know, finding that inner harmony. I feel like that's important. Because I feel like when we feel harmony within, <clears throat> then we're much more open. Let's just say. Because in the Nine of Cups, I'm not shutting my heart down. But I'm not putting, you know, like, I'm okay. I'm okay. But yet, I just can't help that you're going to start thinking about someone who's been thinking of you. All right. I think what I want to do is I am going to take another Mother Mary card over this reading. You know, also, I want you to think about, I know it hasn't been that long ago, but again, uh, 2015, there could be some energies around that period of time. But it really, I feel like it's more about the growth factor than anything. Sobriety. I feel like that's kind of what the king was dealing with. My clear mind is easily able to focus and concentrate. It's almost like this king comes in and says, I quit drinking. You know, whatever was of a lower vibration, I ended it. I'm better now. And I believe him. We have optimism. 
I expect good things to happen, and they do. Optimism. And then last but not least, one of my favorite cards is Watched Over. The reason why this is one of my favorite cards is because I want to remind you that your guides are always watching over your angels. You know, we can look at, this is like, I feel like we have, we can look at life as like just being this earthly being, right? Just trying to figure it out. Or we can remember that we're spiritual beings having human experiences. And I feel like as a spiritual being, you know, and the spiritual being is the intellect to the soul. My soul wants to have different experiences. You know, I don't want to get stuck in a, I don't know. I don't want to be stuck. Watched over. I allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life, knowing that heaven is watching over my loved ones and me. Sobriety. I feel like that belongs to the king. Optimism. I expect good things to happen. And they do. Now remember, you can turn that around. Like in the Nine of Swords, I expect bad things to happen. And they do. And I do feel like the king is like a little worried about that. How will my words be received? Well, you know, I feel like you're going to listen. I don't feel like this is something you immediately say yes to, even though I feel like in your heart of hearts, you want to. Um, but if there needed to be some change, I do feel like you're you're very clear. You know, like, I want to make sure this is not me taking a step backwards. That this love will enhance our life. You know. That you accept me for exactly who I am. I've worked hard to be the person I am. And that may be just some of the things that you say. You know, but I feel like ultimately, it's like I'm feeling pretty good about my life now. And I just don't want anybody to come in that's going to disrupt it. I don't feel like that's the case. But those may be, that may be part of the conversation. <clears throat> I like that both people have really found this inner harmony. To me, that's the perfect time to fall in love. I expect good things to happen. And they do. And I'm going to leave it there for a go because I feel like now I'm starting to go around and around. And to me, that's a sign that, you know, I feel like the messages came out. This is that type of reading where you may need to watch it more than once. <laughs> um, I already know some of you would be like, there's no way in hell I'm taking someone back. But I want, I really want to make it clear. I don't feel like this is someone who like cheated on me. Um, I don't know. I just don't feel that because I feel like, I feel like that I can forgive them. And as a Virgo myself, it's hard to forgive someone who's cheated because that, like to me, I don't know. But I don't feel that. I kind of feel this is the way it was meant to happen. You Like we were meant to enter each other's life, maybe activate each other's heart chakra, break up, and then go do our own thing. You know what I also love with the soulmates is this abundance that's surrounding the soulmates. It means both. You know what I mean? So it's not like this king is a bum. Who doesn't have a job. This is someone who does. Um, 
probably, you know, a good job. But I do feel like ultimately you're combining households. And that's if you decide to say yes. You know, and then being pulled down to these two knights of swords. So it's almost like two people thinking about contacting each other. But I feel like it's the king who ultimately makes that that phone ring, let's say. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, you know how much I love you. I always love doing Virgo's reading. Um, you know, I, and I have to say, I do see myself a lot in Virgo readings, but it's usually my past. And I feel like it's to help explain to some of you, like, you know, some of these energies, because listen, I've been there, done that, but I've also reconnected with someone from my past when we were young and we did break up and what I've done with my life I'm very proud of and it did take 40 years before that faithful call came in but immediately I knew that it was going to be him and I from this point forward. I just knew it. And now, I mean, and it, and it took five years. You know, I don't want anyone to think like this is just a lovey-dovey love story. It took five years of really talking over the phone. Um, You know, and I mean, we would talk for hours and hours every night. Um, And then he used to whisper, at the end, like, when are you going to move in? When are you going to move in? And he'd say it so quiet. Um, like, we would say, okay, love you, bye. And then he'd whisper, when are you going to move in? Almost like, and then hang the phone up. And he did that multiple times. And I just acted like I didn't hear that. And then one day, I finally made the decision, like, we're meant to be together. So I I thought the only thing I do is go ahead and book that that flight. And that's what I did. So I booked that flight and that was back March eighth of two thousand. Two thousand no, not two thousand. I moved to Rhode Island in two thousand. March of wow, I forgot already. Two thousand year was it 2020 2020 yeah because we're going on five years this march so anyways sorry about that you know it's like but i see myself in this story and that's why i tell you my stories um anyway now i'm really going to stop talking thank you i love you as always, cannot wait for your comments. Um, I thoroughly enjoy reading your comments. And I know sometimes it can take time for me to respond back. Um, but I just don't want to respond to anything. So, so I'll read them as they come in and then go back and respond. So just want to let you know, I see all your comments. I read them. Um, even the ones that aren't, you know, that may be suggesting something different i consider that all things you know what i mean because i really do this for you um so anyways thank you guys i love you i'll see you next time at our table bye bye